All education is about the soul. Developing the life of the mind is soul impacting. Here at Caldwell Academy, we offer a classical Christian education for our students, preschool through 12th grade. You know, many educators will often ask at the end of the day, what do our students know? Perhaps, what can they do? Uh, we too ask those questions, but we think there's a more essential question. Who have our students become? That is the most important part of our identity as a school, um, that we would pursue who God is. Classical education is a very old way of educating. It's a, it's a new old way of educating, but the goal is to equip students to think well on their own. Not what to think, but how to think well. In classical education, we believe strongly in the trivium, which is this three-part way we're all wired as young people. The younger they are in the grammar school, they have these inquisitive minds, they're like sponges, they want to pick up facts. So down in the grammar school, they're going to be chanting songs and learning math facts and memorizing Bible verses and hearing many, many stories gaining the building blocks. When they get to the next level, the middle school or the dialectic level, they tend to argue what parent hasn't dealt with argumentative children. So we take that natural inclination that God has put in them and we try to craft that so that they can at least look at their own arguments and see where they may be flawed and argue better. And by the time they get up to the rhetoric school or the high school, we, we're looking at combining these issues, the building blocks, the grammar, the persuasive skills hopefully they've learned, and how they can write or orally present in a much more meaningful and persuasive way. Normally in a literature class, as far as my experience has been in a non-classical school, you have your literature class and you study a little bit about the time period and the author, and so you're, you read the book and then you move on to the next book. But here I love it because the students are already immersed in the history. It's just really laying the subjects out for the kids to make those connections, and they do. That's where I believe Caldwell excels. Clearly in the humanities, we are across the hall from each other. I'm in dialogue with the literature teacher. We do want students to believe certain things, but we don't think that those beliefs are going to be very solid unless they're asking them themselves. And so we encourage questions so that when they're asking these questions, they really will dig in to what they believe. But that's not me forming it. That's them forming their worldview, conforming it to the truth by asking those questions and finding the truth. We desire to give them the tools of learning to be able to tackle any subject beyond Caldwell and address it in bite-sized pieces, taking that which would appear very complex, breaking it down to simple, in that they feel enabled because they have these tools of learning that are beneficial to whatever endeavor of life they apply themselves to. When you walk in the front doors at Caldwell Academy in the morning, you see happy faces, you see smiling, children, you see bright countenances. My own children have not always gone to Caldwell and saw a shift in their own desire to be at school. They weren't just checking boxes. They look forward to coming to school. In fact, I saw my eighth grader today walk by and she had the biggest smile on her face. And I thought, wow, for a middle school girl to be excited about going to school and be happy and feel welcome and to be able to be herself, Caldwell Academy is doing something right to put them in a community like Caldwell Academy means the influences that they have, the things that are shaping them, the people that are shaping them, is going to point them in the right direction. It's going to point them toward God. And that is not only important, it's, it's everything. <laughs>